Defender for Threat Intelligence is a really powerful tool that can help you speed up your incident response process by a lot. Aside from that, it can also help you in creating a risk profile for your uh, organization. Want to know how? Watch this video. Run the intro. Hello world and welcome to a brand new Azure vlog. I hope you are doing well, I'm doing fine. So in this video I would like to talk about Defender Threat Intelligence in relation to Microsoft uh, Sentinel. For those of you who don't know, Defender Threat Intelligence is a product of Microsoft that basically gives you threat intelligence and that's actually really really helpful you can use that data to to validate your ip addresses file hashes etc and the great thing about defender di is its accuracy it is very very accurate so really cool uh, and and nice to have in your security operation center to um, validate your uh, indicators of compromise so without further ado, let's grab a cup of coffee and I'll show you around. That was a very good cup of coffee. You have no idea how much I love creating those coffee sections. It allows me to, to put my creativity on videography into, uh, into this video. I really uh, like that. So without further ado, let's do a dive into Defender for Threat Intelligence. As I said earlier, it's a product that gives you threat intelligence, indicators of compromise with its reputation, etc. And that is really helpful. If you have a suspicious sign in from a certain IP address, you want to know more about that IP address. You want to know its reputation. You want to know who it belongs, uh, etc. And that's exactly what Defender Threat Intelligence uh, can help you with. So let's switch over to my desktop and I'll show you Defender for Threat Intelligence. So this basically is Defender for Threat Intelligence. We can search here for something like an IP address in, in Google style. So let's search for an IP address which belongs to Google, 8.8.8.8, which is the DNS server uh, of, of Google. And uh, as you can see, it gives me a lot of information. Not block listed, not a Tor exit, not a proxy. Basically, um, this is a, a, a clean IP address. It has a score of zero and it, uh, it belongs to, uh, to Google. Okay, so this is a, uh, a, a clean IP address. Let's now put an IP address in from which I know uh, it, it is used in uh, a recent attack. 
So what we see over here, it's marked as malicious. It, had a, it has a uh, score of 100. Uh, we can see uh, that it belongs to DigitalOcean. There is a new Ubuntu OS running uh, on it. Uh, and there is a uh, Microsoft Defender Threat Intelligence article uh, about uh, an attack where this IP address is, is being used. We'll click on that in a minute. We can see what uh, DNS domains are connected to this uh, uh, domain, uh, certificates, etc. So when I click on this, uh, this article over here, we find information about uh, Apple Crimeware, uh, which gives you a uh, description. You can find all kinds of uh, public uh, indicators uh, about this, uh, uh, this attack. And of course, Defender TI uh, indicators, mainly file hashes in, in this case. This is really nice. And especially if we go back, this score over here can help us very good in triaging our cybersecurity incidents. So let's imagine you have a suspicious sign-in ads coming from that IP address. And we can see that its reputation is malicious. The score is 100, red. We know uh, this is not good, right? So these threat intelligence can help us very quickly understanding uh, more about the indicators uh, that belong to our alert. So that's why I think it is important to have such a tool integrated in your Sentinel environment. And that's exactly what, uh, what I did. So let's now switch over to Sentinel and I'll show you how I use Defender Threat Intelligence uh, to enrich my incidents. So here we are again in the browser. Let's switch over to um, Microsoft uh, Sentinel over here. So what I did, I have set up a automation rule to validate uh, the IP uh, address. And this is connected to a logic app, the Enrich Defender TI01 uh, logic app. So if I go to logic apps, I'll show you uh, um, what I did over here. If I click on edit. Okay, so here we are uh, back. Uh, unfortunately, the designer does not load in a uh, Edge browser when I open it with the uh, when I open uh, this logic app with Safari, it's the all just works. So if I go to edit, we'll see the designer. So I start with the uh, the incident trigger. This gets triggered when an incident is uh, is happening. I get the IP addresses for my uh, entity list, and for each of those IP addresses, I will execute a, uh, a HTTP call to. Uh, the graph API. If we want to leverage Defender uh, Threat Intelligence through uh, an API, we need to use the graph API. There is a threat intelligence section in the graph API that we can use to get the reputation, get all the DNS uh, records, etc., that belong to a host or IP address, for example. So I have created a, uh, a app registration in my tenant uh, with a, a secret and don't try to uh, log in using this secret. I already have uh, cycled uh, the, uh, the secret. Um, and I am doing the, uh, the graph call. As I said earlier, there is a, a threat intelligence uh, part over here. What I'm basically doing, I ask uh, for the reputation of an IP address. I parse the response and later on I will add a uh, task to my incident with the classification results. So I only have to validate this and uh, mark my, uh, my task. So if I go back to Sentinel and I go to my incidents. I have a couple of incidents of a failed sign in um, where I have an IP address that's being used. So if I click on 
details and we go to tasks you'll see that a, a valid reputation of the ip address is in there we can open that task and we see that this ip address has a score of 21 it's classification unknown so it's not suspicious but it's also not that uh, that clean so this is really helpful this will save me a lot of time in going to virus total going into defender ti portal etc all tools where i can validate my uh, my sign of my ip addresses i just have a logic app running that checks all the ip addresses and gives back the uh, the reputation to me so i immediately immediately know um the, the reputation of that ip address and i can uh, validate the incident uh, quite uh, quickly so that's really helpful i like that uh, that a another important thing where you can use defender for threat intelligence is building the risk profile of your uh, company if i go back to my desktop i'm now here in uh, in this part of uh, defender for threat intelligence the intel profiles this allows me to select the target of which my uh, my organization uh, belongs let's say i'm a, a energy uh, company i can click on that and i see all the actors um, that have my company as a, uh, a a target so this is really helpful in uh, determining what actors are actually uh, targeting your uh, your company um, if i click on such a actor it, it gives me the uh, the indicators that they uh, they work with and a uh, a quick the description um really really nice so i can imagine you want to start with uh defender threat intelligence right away because it's very very powerful um unfortunately defender threat intelligence is quite an expensive product at this moment there is however a possibility to start a trial so you can even evaluate it before uh, going uh, before you purchase it so if you go to uh, the microsoft defender threat intelligence website basically if you google on microsoft defender for threat intelligence this website will be your first hit you can click on start trial over here and that will brings you to uh, the trial website it is important to know that there are two trials one trial for defender threat intelligence that allows you to have uh, this portal experience uh, over here and there is a separate trial uh, for uh, the api it's also licensed that way it you can license for the portal features of defender for threat intelligence and you have a separate license for the uh, Defender Threat Intelligence API. Now oh, that's, uh, that's important to know. So Defender Threat Intelligence is your go-to product for uh, threat intelligence. It can help you uh, speed up your uh, incident response flow by a lot. It can help you in creating a, a risk profile for your organizations. Uh, and know what threat actors are uh, targeting you. It is really, really nice. It can help you uh, a lot in uh, doing better cybersecurity. So if you like this content, of course, subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell so you get a notification when I upload a, a new video. And of course, hit the like button. Uh, that will help the, uh, the YouTube algorithm in spreading this video to a lot of other uh, users. Um, and yeah, as long as attackers work together, we as uh, defending uh, partners should also uh, do that. So share this video, uh, please. Of course, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.